Solgol is different because we're building a mining nation. We're building mines that are intergenerational, that will survive metal price cycles and that can contribute significantly to the growth of the GDP in Ecuador. We feel like we've discovered a whole copper mining province. It's a little bit like coming into Chile in the 1600s. It's untouched. That's been because they've been focusing on oil and gas production out of the Western Amazon basin. They need another industry. We're here to help build that and we're doing it responsibly, slowly and with a great attention to building a strong regulatory framework as well. It's taken us six years to define a massive resource here. 23 million ounces of gold, nearly 11 million tonnes of copper. It's still growing and ultimately we expect it to be significantly bigger than that. That has taken a lot of man hours, lots of geologists. We're training up uh, Ecuadorian geologists to recognise the various features of this ore body so that we can apply it to the exploration of the other target areas that we have through the country. We therefore expect that the definition of future ore bodies will be done much more quickly and much more efficiently, even than the low $1.43 per ounce equivalent that it's taken us to discover Alpala, or in copper equivalent terms, that's only 0.34 of a cent per pound. So we believe that we're the best company in the country to efficiently and rapidly build the, the country's resource base and on which to base uh, new mining developments. Cascabel is hosting more than 11 million tons of copper, 23 million tons of gold, and more than 100 million tons of silver. At the national level, Cascabel is the biggest deposit discovered in Ecuador. At the international level, it will be a very important copper supplier for the world. We are in a very exciting moment right now doing the pre-feasibility study. As well as the pre-feasibility and geotechnical drilling, we're also expanding the Alpala system itself. This hole is in Alpala North, uh, close to Trevino. We're still in high-grade copper mineralisation. We can see chalcopyrite and bornite here in the, in the quartz veins and also disseminated throughout the rock. It's beyond all of our expectations. It has been for a long time, but it's interesting that it keeps continuing about another 200 metres north of this, we see porphyry outcropping in the creek at uh, Moran. They're likely joined or they're multiple systems. Um, more drilling will tell. There's a lot of sterilisation drilling going on to find sites for infrastructure, declines and, and so forth. That's pretty challenging. It seems everywhere you drill in Cascabel, you find a porphyry. There's a lot of untested targets within the Cascabel concession. It's so mineralised, it's incredible. We don't know what more we're going to find here. I really think that Finding a, a barren site to build the infrastructure is going to be one of our biggest challenges here. These kind of deposits uh, don't get mined by open pits, they get mined by what we call a block caving method. And Alpala itself is situated on a big mountain, we're a thousand metres above the highway down where our office is situated, which would be the ideal place to uh, locate a, an underground decline, which would put you 2,000 metres below us here. And that topographic advantage is partly why we think that this deposit will work as a block cave, not just because of the size and also the high grades help a lot. The fact that this has a one-to-one -one copper gold ratio really helps with the economics of, of putting a block cave in. The preliminary economic analysis that we completed earlier this year shows a project that has a four-year payback on a 55-year mine life. It's got enormous revenues, especially in the first 15 years. This makes it incredibly bankable. We're getting a lot of interest from the world's financiers as a result of the economics of the project and as a result of very clear indications from the government that they want to see a great mining industry built in this country. And we are working closely with the Ecuadorian government to show that we are taking a whole of resource uh, approach to the development of this project. We're not going to just come in and rip the high grade heart out of it uh, and leave the site and the country in an economic mess. We want to make sure that everybody understands our care for the environment, our care for the water resources and our care for the people. Solgol mantiene las buenas relaciones con la comunidad, siendo respetuoso con los modos de vida y con la cultura de las comunidades. Solgol aporta al desarrollo económico de las comunidades, además 
con la generación de servicios y bienes anexos a la minería. El proyecto del comedor se dio para beneficiar a amas de casa, ya que también tenemos derecho a generar ingresos para nuestros hogares, ya que Solgol siempre ha sido un apoyo fundamental para nosotras. Eh, me siento muy orgullosa de ser parte de este proyecto porque se centra principalmente en lo que es reforestar áreas dañadas como lo que ya se ha perdido que son vertientes, bosques y así hacer que los animales igual vuelvan porque se han ido alejando por, parte de, por falta de la naturaleza. Uno de los aspectos de mayor interés para la compañía ha sido el uso y manejo del agua. Eh, para esto hemos sido pioneros en implementar tecnología de punta que nos permite a través de procesos de recirculación reutilizar aproximadamente el 85% de este recurso en nuestras actividades de perforación. What excites me most about the next two to five years is the new discoveries we'll be making right across Ecuador. Rich high grade epithermal gold deposits and large uh, copper and gold rich porphyry systems. They're outcropping all over the country. There's been no work done. Solgold, the best place to make the discoveries. We hold all the best ground in Ecuador and we have the best team. The blueprint that we've created with the uh, discovery of this project, we're going to apply on 12 other projects down through the spine of Ecuador. We believe that Ecuador has the ability to become one of the greatest copper producing nations on earth. There's only 16 million people in Ecuador and that means that uh, we can touch the lives positively of all Ecuadorians and uh, in return we're looking to build the endorsement by the entire nation of our activities and our projects here.